guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a step-by-step -step eyeshadow tutorial for beginners. So if you are new to makeup, if you want to, you know, learn how to do the basics of eyeshadow, just please keep on watching. It's slim share, share, natural beauty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay guys, so as requested, step-by-step -step eyeshadow tutorial for beginners. So the first thing we're going to do is put down some tape. So you know when you're painting, you put little masking tape around the, you know, uh, what's some things called? Around the baseboards, things like that. This is kind of what we're doing for our eyeshadow. So as beginners, you know, it may be hard to control the shadows. So to help, we're gonna take a piece of tape and you could just use regular scotch tape, nothing heavy duty. And you're gonna tape from the corner of your eye up towards the tail of your eyebrow. Now, if you don't have like the tail of your eyebrow, you don't wanna tape it up like that, but you just wanna kind of tape it going towards your temple. And what this is going to do is create a barrier so your shadow doesn't go past here. And it also will help you when you're trying to do like a wing liner. So we did a wing liner on this eye just to show you guys how you can e easily achieve a winged liner. So after we have our tape laid down, one thing we're going to do is prime the eye. Just back to our painting um, scenario, when you prime the walls before you paint, it's basically like a white, stark white primer that you put on as a base before you put up your regular desired paint color. And it basically like blanks out the canvas. So if you think about drawing a rainbow on a piece of white paper, it's gonna look like a rainbow. But if you draw that same rainbow on a brown piece of paper, it's gonna look, you know, not like a rainbow. So if you paint the brown paper with, you know, like a white paint, and then you do your rainbow on it, it'll look, the colors are more pronounced. So basically, that's what priming the eye is. And since I don't wanna add too many extra products at the moment as a beginner, and if you've watched the beginner makeup series, yada, 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 you should already have this one in your sash. So we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm using the shade Fawn. And what I'm gonna do is just basically put this over my eye. Like so, like that, <laughs> in my Tabitha Brown voice. And then I'm just taking my Real Techniques sponge um, just to blend that out. Right now, this one isn't super damp, but it's not like dry either. And so as you can see, the base is all one color. The lid is all one color and we're ready to start laying down colors. If you have super oily lids, you can use a setting powder, like a translucent setting powder or something like that, that you usually use under your eyes. You can use that on top of the concealer that we just put down, just in case you may have oily eyes. You don't want that oil just coming out just because you're adding it on. So you can add a setting powder on top. For me, I like to leave it like this because it's a little bit tacky and it gives me a better base to begin my eyeshadow. So this is the eyeshadow look we're doing. Um, it's very simple and it uses one palette that I had that I found currently on Morphe's website. It is $24. Um, I've mentioned this before in videos. I do not own any drugstore palettes. I recently got my hands on a few drugstore palettes, but I haven't like tried them out where I can outwardly recommend them to you. So for me, my favorite palettes that I always use are generally from Morphe. And this is the 39A palette. And because this was like one of their first Dare to Create palettes, I think, I think that's why it's on sale. But it was like the first palette they did where they had the huge row of transition shades in the middle. Um, and then the rest of the pans are a smaller size. 
The first thing that I like to put down when doing eyeshadow is the transition shade. And your transition shade is usually a shade that if you're doing neutral colors, it's gonna be a little bit close to your skin tone because it's gonna blend your eyeshadow up into the brow bone that is concealed. So you don't want it to be like, just like, you know, dark brown and then boom, you got your carved out brow. You, you need something to transition it and provide like a gradient. So the color that I am going to use as a transition shade today is going to be this brown right here. And it is close to my skin tone, but it is pigmented so it does show up on the skin. What I like to do, I like to tap in my shades like this, just tapping in it versus swirling it because sometimes that just creates you know a mess and then if you have too much you can like i don't know if y'all could see but it has like excess powder coming off when you flick the brush that way you don't have extra like fallout and fallout is when the shadow falls on your face <laughs> sorry i know it's like back and forth but i'm trying to make sure i address terms that you might not know so anyway fallout is when you go and apply your shadow and then there's shadow like falling on your face so now that i've put the shadow on the brush i am going to put this like right above my crease so not in the crease down here but right above my crease and that's kind of where your transition shade will go and then when you brush it on, I do windshield wiper motions and that's exactly what it sounds like, windshield wiper motions. And so you wanna start off with a, a little bit and then build up the color. And I think I've mentioned this before, but the closer you hold your brush down here, the more concentrated the shade is gonna be when you put it on your eye versus the further you hold it out, it's gonna be more blended. So I typically hold mine a little bit in the middle and then just do my windshield wiper motions. And then, like I said, you wanna gradually build this color. So you don't wanna like go in a lot and have too much on there when you start because it's like adding salt to your food. You don't just dump a whole bunch of salt, hope it tastes good, and then if it don't, if it's too salty, then you try to take some of the salt out, you don't do that. You start with a little bit of salt and then you add it until it tastes right. So that's what we're doing. We're adding a little bit of color until it looks right. And with this tape on, you can drag it past the corner of your eye, but you'll still have this sharp look when you take the tape off. So that's the barrier that the tape is creating. Hopefully y'all staying along with me. If y'all staying along with me, let me know in the comments right now because I'm really trying to, like I said, break this down. So I've tapped into the pen about two or three times just to make sure my shadow is coming through. So it looks like a, you know, a little natural depth to the eye. And the brush I used for that is the number six brush from the, from the BH Cosmetics set that we talked about in the initial beginner makeup series. So today I plan on using only brushes from that set. So if you got them, you don't have to go out and find some more. Eventually I'll do a Holy Grail ser series on my favorite brushes, but that'll be later. If you wanna see it, let me know in the comments. So now that we have our transition shade down, the next shade we are gonna do is our crease shade. The crease shade is exactly what it sounds like. It goes in the crease. And naturally the crease of your eye, you can see is a darker little line right here so traditionally that shade is gonna be darker that's in your crease so the crease shade that I'm gonna go in with today is this darker brown and I am gonna use the number eight brush from the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro set and this brush is more preferable for me because it's smaller. So a lot of times people mess up with eyeshadow because they take a big fluffy eyeshadow brush like this and then they just like do that and wonder why the eyeshadow is just everywhere and the colors are all blending together, things like that. Brushes really matter when it comes to eyeshadow because you have to kind of concentrate it in the spot where you want it to go in. So I'm just pressing 
that number eight brush into my dark brown shade and then I'm going to start pressing this in the crease. And keep in mind, I do have hooded eyes. So if you didn't see the eye chart in the other video, go back and watch that. But I do have hooded eyes, so a lot of this is not gonna be seen with my eyes open. So like I said, I like to press the shadow in first before I start blending out. And for this eyeshadow look, we're gonna concentrate it on the outside and bringing it about two thirds in. So we're not doing this inner portion of the eye with our crease shade. And then we're just gonna do our windshield wiper motions and blend that out. And I decided to stay away from black today because black is not a beginner shadow in my opinion. Um, so we're going to just stick with this darker brown shade. So as you can see, our dark brown is kind of, you know, taking over the picture, which that's okay, but we want to make sure this flows a little bit smoother from this dark brown up into our brow bone shade. So I'm going to go back with my number six brush. And before adding any extra eyeshadow to it, I'm just going to brush out the edges and see if that can diffuse it some more. So we're gonna do that. And for me, the art of blending is going back and forth. You know, it's like pancake batter. If you have that, you know, just add water and you add too much water and it's super soupy, then you gotta add some more pancake mix. If it's super clumpy, you gotta add some more water. So you kinda, you know, gotta tip for tack and do it until it looks more gradient. So that looks a little bit better, but I feel like I'm losing a little bit of the transition shade color. So I'm gonna tap in my transition shade and just add just a touch of that towards the top. And as you can see, it's looking like a nice little gradient up into the brow. And that's how you want it to look. And then today for the lid shade, so there's basically three different shades that goes into making a basic eyeshadow look. That's your transition shade, your crease shade, and then your lid shade. And typically your lid shade is gonna be like your shimmer where you add a pop of color. Um, it can be matte, you could leave it like this if you wanted to, but I'm just trying to, you know, sum up what my idea of a basic eyeshadow look so the shimmer shade that i'm gonna use on the lid is gonna be this like goldish greenish gold um in the palette and the brush that i'm going to use is the number nine bh cosmetics brush and it's more of a flat it's more of a flat eyeshadow brush that just helps you like pack on the the shade so i'm pressing into this swiping down on it so we're gonna press like this into the shade and then i'm just gonna start by putting it in the middle like where my pupil is putting it in the middle and swiping it and we're gonna do from the inner corner two thirds in so we're not gonna go all the way out where the dark brown is and for me, I just follow the natural shape of my eye. So as my eye kind of curves up into the crease, I just take the brush and follow that. And if you are super new to makeup, like this is not gonna, you know, be perfect on your first try or anything like that. It always takes practice. And eventually you'll learn and know your face and every crevice and crease you have on your face and you'll know how to you know, work around it or work with it to create your eyeshadow looks. Hopefully that was focused, but like I said, we're just putting that shadow on the lid and only going about two thirds in. So then from here, you wanna go back in. I know it's a lot of back and forth, but you wanna go back in with your number eight brush and your dark brown shade and you're gonna merge the two together so kind of blend it out into the corner 
And that's gonna give you a gradient from your shimmer shade into your dark outer corner. So hopefully y'all can see that. And then one last thing on the top of the lid is your inner corner highlight. Inner corner highlight is basically um, when you put like a highlight shade right here in your inner corner tear duct area, and that basically just opens up the eye. So I'm actually gonna take the highlighter in our True Complexion Contour Palette from BH Cosmetics and the number 11 brush. And we're just gonna put this right in the inner corner. From there, we're gonna jump into eyeliner. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. It's a e.l.f. black liquid liner. And all I'm going to do is line the top lash line really close like that and then as you get towards the outer edge is when you can start flicking your wing liner and you can go onto the tape with this and the way i did it over here up a little bit so that's what the wing liner is looking like before we peel off the tape I did use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara for mascara today which you should have in your stash as well and then after you do that you can go ahead and peel off your tape and I'm peeling it off from the under eye towards the outer edge and as you can see, we have a nice clean line, a nice clean, sharp eyeliner. <laughs> and then I already did the under eye on here with the eyeshadow, but typically, first off, I like to do my eyeshadow before I do face makeup because if you have any fallout or any you know thing that falls on your face while you're doing your eyeshadow you're gonna be upset if you can't get it off of your face makeup so i would do my eyeshadow first and then proceed with doing the face makeup so i'll do that really quickly and then after you finish your face makeup you'll go in and do your lower lash line so i'm gonna do some face makeup really quick all right so that was like the quickest full face i've probably ever done so from here which I ain't fully blended, don't judge me. Set spray will bring it together. But anyway, so from here, you know, you can see how this eye looks a little bit more complete versus this eye. It's because we don't have any under eye action going on. And it really just depends on your mood. For me, sometimes I do like having my lower lash line like clean, maybe just a little bit of lower lash mascara, but other than that, I kind of like it clean like this because it, it elongates the face just a little bit. But this side, I like when I want a complete, a little bit more dynamic look. So I took the crease shade, which is the dark brown, and the brush I used is the number is the number 11 brush from BH Cosmetics. And I just press in that and I put this shadow right on my lower lash line. So not like in the wet part, but right, not in the waterline. That's what it's called, not in the waterline, but on the lower lash line, which is the skin right outside your waterline and by using this small little brush it keeps you from like putting the shadow too far under your eyes so you don't look like you have raccoon eyes and then after doing that i do like going back in with my inner corner highlight shade which i also use the same 11 brush and if you're switching between colors using a brush i recommend cleaning it in between because you don't you want to get each color for what it is you don't want your yellow looking red because you used red and then you try to use the same brush in your yellow um there are multiple different like ways to clean your brushes in between there's like a little can thing that i've never tried that has like a sponge in it that you can clean your brush 
I'll put a little picture on the screen, but I've never tried that, but I hear they work. What I use is the Daily Brush Cleaner from Sephora. Um, I know this is not drugstore, but it is really, really good. And it cleans your brushes like without you having to let them dry. So right now, let's see if you guys can see. This brush has a little bit of brown on it. We're gonna spray on a towel and swirl the brush on the towel. And just that quick, the brush is white, it is dry and ready to use. So we're gonna go back into the True Complexion Contour Palette and use the highlight shade. And this time, I'm just touching up what we already did in the inner corner and taking a, a little bit on that lower lash line so it can kind of connect together. And then another thing people like to do is a brow bone highlight, um, which just brings a little bit of shimmer to your brow bone. And so I'm gonna use the number seven brush. It's another flat eyeshadow brush and go into our BH Cosmetics highlight in the True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm just brushing that on my brow bone so as you can see, it got a little bit of shimmer versus this side, which is just matte. That's a little extra optional step. And then I also did a little bit of lower lash mascara using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm not a lower lash expert. This one always turns out better than this one, but you can just, you know, do as you please. And then from here, you feel free to curl your lashes. You can add, um, I'm gonna curl mine because I'm not gonna put on any falsies. Be careful curling your lashes with mascara on because sometimes it can stick a little bit. Now to finish the look, I'm just gonna put on some lips, lip gloss from the hair store. It's just clear. And if you want to, you can clean your lips first. I usually like doing a little brown lip liner, but I can't find mine at the moment. So we're just going to leave it here. I'm going to come in closer so you guys can see the eyeshadow. So this is the basic eyeshadow look with your little wing. So if you're interested in a brow tutorial, I'll link it right here. It's my laminated, updated laminated brow tutorial. I guess I could take my thing down. All right, guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have not checked out the rest of the beginner makeup series, make sure you check it out. Um, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. So, 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 so much. And if you watch this far and you not subscribe, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing, sis? Go ahead and subscribe down below. Join the gym squad. And that basically means you're joining a community of people committed to loving themselves authentically and living a positive life. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button while you're down there and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And y'all never forget, at the end of the day, Without regrets, love yourself and be you, tearful. Bye guys. I actually recorded this video about two weeks ago and the footage was just, one, I had a booger in my nose, which I usually always have a booger in my nose, Lord, I don't know why, but anyway. Alrighty kids, bando chick. Step by step eyeshadow routine. This is not really a routine. 